the more I compete, slowly but surely, I am showing the type of fighter that I am. It's not a blast of I'm already on the podium, but I think I am. I'm getting closer and much closer to where I need to be. And with each step that I make, each competition that I go to, I'm growing because I'm learning from my mistakes and I'm learning from the absentee of my coach not being there, my training partner not being there. What can I do to close that gap so that I can be in the same level as that girl that's standing next to me that has a coach there, that had a training partner? What gaps can I close to be equal with her in that fight? And I don't, I don't think that I, I, I thought about it like the way I'm thinking about it now because I never really had to like go back and think about it. But I was ready for the fight. I was, I didn't, I didn't want to look at my draw. I just wanted to go fight. My coach uh, called me the night before. He told me a few tactics. He said, this is what I need to focus on. This is what I need to work on. And I tried it in warm up. And when I went into the fight, I think it started working in the beginning. But as you, as you start fighting, uh, People adapt, you know, and then you have to start making changes. But yeah, overall, I wasn't I wasn't nervous at all. I was so relaxed for the competition. I was eating the food that I love and yeah, I was just going into it, just telling myself that I need to fight. This is the fight and I need to be ready. Well, how would you describe your, your judo for someone who's who's never seen you uh, c- compete? How, how, well, what sort of keywords would you use to to describe your 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 approach? So, my judo. Firstly, I just want to say my judo has changed. Uh, I think a bit. Obviously, firstly, the ne waza. I think there I really grew from where I never used to be aware of Nawaza or be awake when it was Nawaza. Now I am trying Nawaza, I'm blocking Nawaza and it's not as easy to, you know, attack me on the ground anymore. Um, I also used to be uh, explosive just wanting to attack the whole time. I want to just be the first one to attack, take the first grip, always move fast. But now I've, I've slowed down a bit and I've, it's almost like I'm analyzing what, which side she's fighting what grip she takes, and then from there, see the movement and then try to attack. And also see what she, what attacking she does so that I can count at the same time. So I think my judo has really grown a lot from just wanting to attack, 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 and after two minutes, I die out because I'm so tired of attacking. I start making mistakes and I start getting shittos and then I lose the fight all by myself. But now... I take it slowly. I was like, first step, first one minute, we'll be, we'll be doing grip fighting just to feel it. After one minute, then I can start doing attacks. Okay, now I need to start working on the ground. And I start speaking to myself as well. Um, then I would tell myself, but her hand is doing this, so I need to block that to do Siyonagi. Or I need to, now you need to try and do Uranagi because it's the only way out. You know, some like you start talking to yourself during the fight. And I think that's where I've grown because I never used to think in the fight. I always just wanted to go, go, go and do. But now I'm analyzing and I'm seeing what's happening. And from there, I'm taking my steps. Very interesting. Uh, as far as the you, you're saying, you're you're analyzing and, and, and you're. I would imagine you are documenting as, as well. Are are you going back and yes. looking at your matches? What 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 do you do? You, do you write in a journal? Is, is there, or, or a diary? What how, how do you, how do you do that? What do you do with that? Yeah. So so what I would do is like when I'm done fighting the overall competition. So I watch until the end. I watch all the finals, and when when the competition is done, I go back to my room. And then the next day, I don't, I don't watch my match exactly the same day because obviously I'm still a little bit sad and disappointed in the overall performance. But the next day, I'm more calm and I can actually sit down and see what I did wrong. So then I would go in and I would write down the positive things and the negative things that I did in the fight because for me, it's important to see what I'm learning and what I grew from from the previous match, which is positive, and what I I might still be doing wrong if I'm attacking too much or I'm not pulling enough or I didn't attack, but I didn't have enough drive and the girl just counted me. So all of those things, um, I just write it down and then I can see so that this is what I need to still push on 
because it's working the positive things and this is what i need to work on which is all my my weaknesses or my negatives for the fights yeah there in mongolia ulan batar you faced primarily uh you, you faced uh, first an Uz uzbeki fighter uh azeri fighter uh what uh and 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 so and a Kazakhstani fighter. What when when you look back at that uh, tournament, what what do you recall? W which match sticks out to you as a match where you know you learned the most, or 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 you know you you took away the the most information as far as how how, how to augment your your approach to to future fights. W w which fight was it? I think it was definitely the second fight um, where. I felt confident to start doing attacks. I could defend some of the attacks and I also worked with my Nawaza. And I think from from the first fight, I did uh, I did a lot of grip fighting and I, it's almost like I worked more on tactical where I wanted her to just look like a little bit more bad and negative so that she can get shootouts. Where in the second fight, I was feeling confident. I was trying my throws. I almost swept it as well. And after the fight, I was like, yeah, that almost worked. You know, you start feeling positive about the fight. And I think definitely the second fight for me, because first of all, it was the first quarterfinal that I've ever been in for a Grand Slam. I think that obviously it's the first step of that fight being a great fight for me. And then just having to fight full four minutes and... You know, she couldn't get me on the ground. I did attacks and I could defend it. I think that is where I learned the most throughout the competition. Yeah. And you were fighting against Abiba Ab Abuza Kinova, correct? Yeah, for, from, yes, from, yes. from Kazakhstan. What, um, and, oh, oh, and sorry, go ahead. No, the, I think also the reason why I would say that I was a great fight because I fought her before and the first time I fought, she threw me twice and it was probably less than two minutes. Now I went the full fight with her. I did a whole lot of grip fighting. I did attacks. It's like almost that I grew from the first fight that I, I went against her. That is actually why I think this one was the most important one for me throughout the competition. 